Hi everyone, this is Tech with Beck. Welcome to another video in my Beginner's Guide to Coding series. Ever wonder how developers create and edit their code? They use text editors, sometimes known as code editors. Just like an author might use a tool like Microsoft Word to write their book, a web developer uses a text editor to write and organize their code. Code is typically organized under one folder with many different subfolders, depending on how you choose to organize it. For example, you may have a project folder with a folder for front-end code and then a folder for back-end code. A text editor can help you keep track of the code you write. Key features of text editors can include file organization, syntax highlighting, auto-completion, formatting, and even error catching. Two popular text editors are VS Code and Sublime. Like most tools, it usually comes down to personal preference for what works best for you. I personally prefer VS Code due to its flexibility and vast extension library, and also most notably because VS Code is free to use. Either right out of the box or even just by adding a few extensions, text editors can take away some of the headache of coding by ensuring your code is clean and organized. Code editors can be used for almost any coding language. It's simply a matter of ending your file with a dot and then the file type of the language you're coding. In your coding journey, you might have also come across the term IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Developer Environment. Some popular IDEs are Eclipse, Visual Studio, not to be confused with VS Code, and IntelliJ. Generally speaking, an IDE has the same capabilities of a text editor, but with more advanced debugging, build automation, or deployment features. However, the text editors listed previously can have extensions added to them for any needed improvements to leverage IDE type features. I recommend you start with a text editor rather than an IDE. You'll be surprised how much a text editor can do. If you ever find yourself needing key features that can't be addressed with proper extensions, then by all means, try out an IDE. Have any particular topics you would like me to cover in a future video? Want more in-depth knowledge about a specific text editor? Comment below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and come back for more videos. You've been watching Tech with Beck.